and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you how I created this DIY neon sign right behind me. And I really love it. It's really, really chic. It comes in so many different colors. You can get it blue, yellow, white, orange, and all the other colors that you want. And I'm really excited to share this video with you because it's really cheap and it's so easy to make. And as you can see, my background is quite different from all the other videos that I've uploaded. Actually, this is like my first time showing my face for um, an art-related video. And as of the moment, I'm in the process of creating a DIY mini art studio, if that makes any sense. And as you can see in the background, I have there a lot of stuff going on and they're still not 100% project that I have shared in my channel if you guys are new to this channel and um, this is the first time you heard about me you might as well want to check my other DIY video where I created this super unique and super super aesthetic Greek bust head brush holder so there you go you can keep all your brushes inside and even your pens and brushes and it looks really or even if you don't have like brushes to store it so you could definitely still use this one as a decor piece in, in your rooms or in your home or something anyway I will link tutorial video of this one right down in the description box down below so make sure to check that out so I won't be delaying this DIY tutorial and let's get started things you'll need first is a glass frame this could be in any size you want Next is neon lead string. I got mine from Shopee for 139 pesos. This is actually a battery operated lead string and it has three light modes. Steady mode, blink mode, and fast blink mode. Marker, ruler, and paper. First off, take out the glass from the frame case and wipe away all the dust from the glass making sure it's really dust free before you start working with it for this tutorial i already sketched my desired statement off camera but you can also use words, coats, or even logo patterns for this. Next, I tried sticking the lead string on the glass surface using hot glue. But as I was going on, I had a pretty hard time working with it because it easily dries up and it doesn't seem to hold the lead string in place. So I decided to switch using super glue instead. I just went on ahead and continued gluing in the rest of the letters by working on one letter at a time and I figured that it's much easier using the super glue because it doesn't dry up fast and when it does, it really holds the lead string in place. Basically, you'll just trace on the pattern you made on the paper underneath the glass until you finish it. Since I still have a few more left, I decided to create a borderline kind of frame to the glass to make it more professional looking. Then using thumbtacks, I stuck four thumbtacks 
in all four corners of the glass to my wall and there you have it, your very own aesthetic DIY neon sign. And that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys had fun. If you like creative videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.